Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Joyce. There's your dog bag at the table. When you sit down to eat a meal, is your dog right there? Pawing, whining, maybe even barking while you're eating? Well, in this video, we're going to teach your dog not to beg at the table. Are you the person who feeds the dog from the table? Just occasionally, a scrap, now and then. Well, you are reinforcing and making the behavior of begging so much stronger. So everyone has to stop feeding the dog from the table. Even if you're sitting on the couch and your dog has their chin on your lap, you have to ignore them and not feed them. When you feed a dog occasionally from the table, the behavior becomes so much stronger. Your dog will sit and wait through a hundred meals, hoping for that one time when you're going to feed them. It's like pulling a lever on a slot machine. When you pull the lever once and win, you'll go back and pull it a million more times just to see if you can be a winner. That's what your dog is thinking when they're sitting there at the table thinking, this is the meal that they're going to feed me a scrap from the table. So you have to absolutely tell everyone, do not feed the dog. No matter if the dog barks, cries, paws, jumps on you, you can't feed the dog. So what do you do? Well, here is the first thing. We need to make sure that your dog is managed. That means that if you need to, you put up a gate, you put up a barrier, and you put your dog in the other room. Or you put your dog in a crate. That will help to keep your dog away from the table. But we want to solve the problem. And one of the best ways to solve the problem is with the mat exercise. Here is a dog laying on his mat, waiting for his owner to finish her meal. When she finishes, she calls him off the mat. Nikki is working on her Kong. This is one of the first ways to help your dog to lay on their mat while you eat your meal. You need to practice when it's not meal time. So what I'm doing is I've got some crackers and some water and I'm sitting at the table. In addition to her working on her Kong, I'm also going to reward her by clicking and tossing a treat onto the mat so that she is going to stay on the mat while I am eating my food. While she's on her mat, I'm going to click. If, you're, if your mat is close enough to the table, then you can toss from the table. Or you can click when you're sitting at the table or say yes and get up and take the treat to your dog. I'm going to do that this time and I'm going to reward Nikki on her mat. You can either stand up and click or you can click when you're sitting down. I'm going to click, give her a treat. The idea is that I can sit here, I can eat my dinner, I can have my soda. My dog stays on the mat. So you need to practice this. Start out when it's not meal time, when there's very little commotion, and put down your mat, give your dog a Kong, let them enjoy the Kong. And then while they are working on their Kong, you're also going to click and toss them a treat. What your dog is learning is that staying on the mat is what you want while you eat your meal. If your dog leaves the mat, simply get them back on the mat and reward them for being there. In the beginning, your dog will receive a Kong and many treats. The goal is always to eliminate the Kong and reduce the treats until your dog lays quietly on their mat while you eat your entire dinner. At the end of your meal, call your dog off their mat. If you would like to give them a reward, put the reward in their dog bowl when you finish your meal. When your dog realizes that laying on the mat is going to have him be rewarded, 
Then he will lay on his mat during your entire meal, waiting for you to finish. In the playlist above, go to his mat. You can see many fun uses for the mat exercise. How to prevent resource guarding in puppies. Easy way to prevent it before it gets started. Great video to teach your dog not to guard. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thanks and have a great day. Bye from Joyce at Diamond Dog Training. Bye-bye.